Welcome back to Challenges of Faith radio program. I'd like to acknowledge God and our listeners. The Challenges of Faith radio program was formed for the purpose of strengthening and or re-strengthening the believer of the household of faith. In essence, what the Bible says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. You can find that in Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. Challenges of Faith radio program is now ranked number four among the top 100 best Christian podcasts, according to Speed. Thank you to the listeners and to our guests. Speaking of guests, Glenn M. Ratcliffe, the executive producer of the Test the Movie, will be joining us as my guest in a few minutes. Notably, he is recognized in the music video, Ghosts, as the husband of Oscar winner Diane Keaton and the grandfather of Grammy winner Justin Bieber, a music video which has garnered an impressive 360 million views since its release in October of 2021. Brother Glenn, welcome to Challenges of Faith radio program. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. Can you hear me okay? I sure can. <clears throat> Loud and clear. Great. My brother, how are you and your loved ones? Me and the loved ones are fine. Everything's going according to God's schedule. So I'm I'm very open and flexible to what happens without judgment. So mm-hmm. things are going well. <clears throat> Glenn, what were your aspirations while growing up? Well, that's a really good question. Uh, My uh, mentality and my vision of reality was forged by, uh, I was a Protestant, by by the the minister coming to our school every day for two hours. That continued all through uh, uh, primary school and high school, where we'd read uh, uh, one of the the books of the Bible and do the Lord's Prayer. It was called R.E., Gary, Religious Education. And that Mm -hmm. was the mandate along with math and science. So the curriculum of the Bible uh, kind of shaped uh, my aspirations. I was thinking of being a minister at one time. Uh, I did get perfect attendance in the Bible school. (laughs) So my aspiration, really, I would say to seek truth rather than being a victim of an embroidered corrupt <clears throat> system of manipulation. I knew from an early age there was a power greater than me and it was a good power based on love and truth and honesty. Mm-hmm. And so my aspirations were really to separate myself from corruption, uh, the devil, the negative businesses, the big pharma, these people that are corrupting the soul. So at an early age, I was forged and and very fortunate uh, to to have the minister come to the school every day. You know, and listening to you, you're coming out very powerful, which is is what God would have you to, because you're talking about truth. And I enjoy what you're saying, because, you know, there are individuals that you come in contact with who who say uh, uh, your truth, my truth. But we come back to what God says truth is. And then when you talk about character, just like you indicated as it relates to taking a stand for that which you know to be right, when you're talking about corruption at all forms, knowing just like you did from the spiritual standpoint, how that the spiritual enemy, the devil, uses two-legged minions to do his work to ensure that people where the battle takes place and in the mind are manipulated, as you so said. Glenn, what was your spiritual sojourn that led you to write the screenplay for the test the movie that was uh, a very interesting experience i was going to hollywood to appear in the play arsenic and old lace and i uh was driving a little honda civic and i was hit by a truck and this truck pushed me into another truck and it snapped my neck back and i had an out-of-body experience gary mm-hmm. where my soul came out in centrifugal force and went into the stillness mm-hmm. of all knowing of God, I was a, I was dead essentially. But the, the miracle thing was is that I was alive because my awareness, uh, you know, the the Christ consciousness, the the oneness, was aware, 
and obviously my work wasn't finished. So I resided up there in pure ecstasy in the stillness of, of the power of God. Uh, and it was amazing. It was just pure joy and bliss. And then I came back in centrifugal force, re-anchored into my head and in my heart. And then the funniest thing happened, Gary, uh, there was a thread flux of light attached to me and everyone, it, you know, and the reckoning that we're not a grain of sand with a beach, we're not a drop of water with the ocean. There is no subject object consciousness. There's only a unity. So this unity uh, was the embryonic form of the movie tested because almost like a, a coin, you can, it has a heads and a tails, but it's one coin. And so the whole human being is trapped by this illusion of duality because you see through the human eyes, not through the single eye of light. So they can't see their unity with other people. So if you're not unified, you're in conflict with others. Uh, so it creates uh, a separation. And so I have separations of race, religion, of peoples, of ideas. And that's what's called a fragmentation of unity. And the devil divides and conquers. So the whole key here is that to have an appreciation of everyone you meet as God in disguise. They may be off because they may not have Christ in their heart, but that's because the devil, the evil, the systems manipulated them to corrupt their mind to do these deeds. So the tested movie, I call it tested because you can pass a test, Gary. It's not <laughs> like you're stuck in crystal light. Once mm -hmm. you know that everything is happening to you is cause and effect or manipulation by evil, you can stand in truth and you, you're not snared by the devil. You can say, this mm -hmm. is just a test. Oh, okay, I have an option to pass the test. And that's how the movie Tested came about. I wanted to give a label that was generic that everyone could understand that they're not bound and they're not chained down by the devil. These circumstances are tested, engineered by a corrupt system and evil people to manipulate you. So once you realize that, you pierce the veil, you're surrounded by the, the Holy Spirit and you have protection. And you can, everyone you meet, you can touch, raise them up. They'll tell somebody else. Mm -hmm. And eventually, love will conquer hate and right will conquer might. And we'll, have, we'll create a paradigm shift and will bring heaven on earth. Speaking of the <clears throat> test of the movie, Glenn, what is the synopsis of the movie? The synopsis uh, is to spiritually liberate the world uh, through teachings. I play an enlightened Scottish minister, and uh, one of the things he says on the pulpit is when you're born, you don't get a, a birth certificate, you get a slave certificate. So the... the the, the movie itself, and I play this minister who's married. She get, my wife gets killed. There's police corruption, drug corruption. I try and mirror all the aspects of corruption on this character's journey to try and stay whole. He eventually, eventually crumbles to the dark side, but then he resurrects. So what I'm trying to show in Time and Space, Gary, is the human journey. You know, we come from a good spot, but bad things happen to good people, and sometimes they crumble. They go into drugs, alcohol, sex, uh, overeating. You know, a lot of things mm -hmm. take away their divinity. So I want to show in time and space a representative of the human condition so that you, they can see uh, a, an enlightened Scottish minister just telling the truth. Then all the bad things happen. He falls, but then he resurrects it. Because it's not too late for anyone, Gary. You can mm -hmm. call, be called home now. You can let Jesus enter into your heart now. It's not too late, no matter where you are or what you've done. And that's the intention uh, of the tested movie. Wow. <clears throat> so you're talking about <clears throat> one that you either in a trial, coming out of one, <clears throat> excuse me, or waiting for one. You and the tested team have laid out specifically six ways the movie will inspire the world. What are they? Well, there's more than six uh, because spiritual liberation depends on each individual. It's like 10 people can read a book, Gary. They all read it differently, mm -hmm. you know, depending on their evolution. But 
right off the bat, it's spiritual liberation, giving the individual their dignity back a choice, knowing that they are special, that they are indeed made in the image of Jesus, and they shouldn't be put down by anyone. Uh, And we want to create an equality, a a oneness of all races, all genders, so that people don't look upon themselves as separate. And I don't mean that in a negative way where we're all just one clone. Everyone's individually, Mm -hmm. artistically, with a vision, but the core. The, the cause of all effect, wisdom lies in cause. When you plant a seed, the cause of, of, of the flower to grow is the planting. It's not the flower itself. The flower has been caused by the idea of the seed. So I want to cause individuals to find their godhood through storytelling and through the ability to look inward and understand who, who they are. And this will create a... Uh, it'll cancel out the subject object consciousness which means you're over here and I'm over here but really we're one if I love you I love me if I'm angry at you I'm angry at me so these basic concepts of understanding of of who the human really is and how they've been lost you know how the system will stimulate what's called the mammalian brain which is the flight or fight mechanism of survival Because way back to the prehistoric days, what happens is uh, something will happen or be reported in your Apple phone. You'll crystallize into fear. When you're in a fear modality, you're cut off from God as part of the devil's engineering through the captains of industry to manipulate you. And so you become a victim. And, you know, this pandemic, the COVID, big pharma giving out the drugs, the ecological chain is breaking, the greenhouse effect, replacement by AI, the homelessness. These are all signs of the book of Revelation. So the, the trumpet's been sounded and the warriors need to garner now. And we can get the people who are in a fear-based modality and we can lift them up. Tested movies to really galvanize the world, the spiritual warriors of the world, and take the rightful place and restore harmony and peace to the planet. You know, when you said something um, previously um, as it relates to um, the desire to ensure that everyone understands that everyone is redeemable and that um, even really when it comes down to it, even on their deathbed, that person can re- uh, still uh, reach out and seek Jesus Christ as their savior. And so that's what you are providing at the same time is hope for everyone. Who are some of the cast team the cast and team of creatives, producers, and development team? Uh, we've got Daryl Marshak. Daryl used to be Lee DiCaprio's manager. He knows a lot of big people. Jules Lubin's produced about 14 movies. Uh, ben Madeley, he's a prominent screenwriter in London, myself, and uh, three or four good actors who are uh, galvanizing towards the project. So we're going to have a very strong team in place, like-minded with a vision, you know, to help bring peace to the world. Because I also have a TV series I've written called Macintosh, which is a cross between Kung Fu and Colombo. And this oh. will bring Eastern yeah, this will bring East and West together. It's a sign the murder of my, my wife in the movie. Uh, I form a PI firm uh, with the main antagonist who was not guilty because it was a setup by one of the other <coughs> members of the ministry trying to destroy me. Uh, so we form a PI <laughs> firm. And the first uh, case is why are uh, elderly people die in the hospital when their insurance gets cut off? So mm. this is, again, to book socially conscious change makers to, to bring, you know, truth to the world. And I think this is, this is going to be like rocky for the soul. I think mm-hmm. my time's impeccable because never in the history has evil raised its ugly head. It's all over the place and political divides, you know, products you're buying, air you're breathing, slaughtering of people and animals. It's all over, you mm-hmm. know, and, and we're supposed to be divine beings, but look what's happened. We're no more than talking animals in a floating zoo. Mm-hmm. So there's there's mm-hmm. work to be done. You know, I feel as an artist, you know, my only intention is to make the world a little better before I go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and just like you indicated that um, 
a part of what you're attempting to do with individuals is to allow them to know, especially believers at the same time, allow one to understand the different techniques and um, <clears throat> ways that the adversary, the spiritual enemy, along with the two leg ones that is being utilized, how they can disarm a person from being who they should and ought need to be, especially for kingdom purposes, so that, in fact, you are bringing the knowledge, practical experience, and so forth. Even as you just mentioned about the TV series, you're bringing the reality so that it at least allows individuals to open their mind if they choose, and at the same time understand the reality of what's going on around them so that they can, like we started off the program, walk in truth so that they understand so that other people can be freed at the same time. Glenn, will there be any tested merchandise available? Well, we're planning uh, a lot of that. We started embryonically with T-shirts, uh, hats, uh, pens, you know, but I'm in touch with some manufacturers uh, and we're thinking of like clothing, uh, curtains, dolls for the children, lunch boxes, wallpaper, because if they see this, you know, like if you look at Coca-Cola or Nike, whatever, it's a name branding. So if they can relate tested to freedom, sublimely that will raise them up. So the merchandising campaign is a campaign to also spiritual liberate. You know, if you've got a tested lunchbox at school with your lunch or a tested wallpaper in your bedroom, you know, you're going to see the reminder uh, of empowerment. Oh, something bad happened today. No, it didn't. It was a test. And these tests come from various sources. They come from karma, uh, you know, where you've done something wrong and you're paid back. It comes from interference by demons. It comes from interference by figures that want to control you. So once you see the system, once you kind of pierce the veil, Gary, and mm -hmm. see beyond the illusion, you're in the world, but you're not of it. You know, mm -hmm. when they're ranting and raving in the political agenda or big pharma saying buy this or the finance companies going buy a new car and mm -hmm. you have to pay all that interest up front and drive it around the block and it's worth nothing. You see <laughs> the how the devil works. You mm -hmm. see the illusions. You know, you, they can't fool you anymore. They speak with a forked tongue. They, you know, you read the media, you know, it's fake. You know that, oh, there's a new law coming out. You know, there's a new, there's an AI going to help you. You know, you know, mm -hmm. the, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. So part of it is the understanding of you cannot get out of a trap, Gary, if you don't know you're in one. Mm -hmm. This is the mm -hmm. problem. People, right. are, we've lost the, the spiritual love. We, it, it's been stolen by demons. And so mm -hmm. we have to resurrect that. We have to through behaviors, actions, sharing wisdom, like your podcast. We have to get the word out, but there, there has to be what's called a new action. If I don't plant a seed in the garden, there's no flower it's going to grow. Mm -hmm. I have to take idea and through the sweat of my brow, I have to plant that. See? Mm -hmm. So people have to, through the sweat of their brow, change their habits. Have a glass of water, don't have a beer, you know? Mm -hmm. Listen to some classical music. Don't go out drinking and womanizing. You know, we have mm -hmm. choices. Mm -hmm. But it's so corrupt and confused, we are just on autopilot. We're, we're, most people are sleeping, like Christ said, the living dead. Mm -hmm. They go to work the same way, same clothes, do the same things, and then they die. They just, just roll or just like a corpse. You know, so the test is moving to wake people up and let them know they're special, they have a voice, they deserve to be heard, and to spread the word of love and Jesus around the world. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You're trying to take the uh, cookies from the top shelf and make them clear so that it's very clear, so that, again, a person is without excuse on why they're not moving forward, trying to uplift others at the same time. Glenn, how can interested listeners support the Tested Movie? Uh, a couple of ways. I do have a fundraiser going uh, on my website, Tested. That's the word Tested, themovie.com. can uh, pull it up, and there's uh, funding buttons there. I also have 
a world peace movement, testedthemovement.com, where I talk about a lot of this stuff. They can contribute there. And my personal email is just glennratcliffe at iCloud.com, and I'll spell it G-L-E-N-N-R-A-T-C-L-I, F as in Fred, F as in Fred, E, at iCloud.com. So anyone who wants to contribute or even just talk or even if they have got any issues uh, and they want to just, you know, have a session of, you know, healing or well-being, I'm available. And listeners, you can also find Glenn's information in our show notes, so please take a moment and look at it. Glenn, why is it important for all humans to enjoy freedom, happiness, and dignity? Well, that's because we're made in the image of God, and it's been stolen from us. It's actually our birthright to be free, to be happy, and have dignity. Mm-hmm. But because of, you know, some people with money feel they're better, people in higher positions feel they're better, pe- people who may wash dishes are not as good as the astronaut, whatever the, the fake concept is, uh, it's erroneous, it's an error. Every human being is worth something, is special in their own way. But the people who want power over them want to put them down, put them in a class distinction, be it their color, their race, their beliefs, rather than seeing a universal oneness. So if we have people who are happy, free, and with dignity, the world will be a better place. It's a thought wave universe. You tend to think things, and it comes into practice. So if I'm feeling happy and love and full of dignity, I'm walking around as a healing balm to the world. So if everyone feels that way, love will conquer hate, and right will conquer might. So it's an inside job. You must love yourself first truly, then love others, and then spread the word. So that's why it's very important that you love yourself, Gary, Mm -hmm. And you demand Mm -hmm. freedom and happiness and dignity as your birthright. Mm -hmm. That's why you fight for it. It's yours. You you, you declare it. You decree it. I am free. I Mm -hmm. am happy. And I have dignity. That's that's your right. And don't let anyone, Mm -hmm. all your listeners out there, anyone take that away from you. Because that is who you are at your core. You're not, my name's Glenn, but God's in my heart. That's the mm-hmm. cause of Glenn. So I'm not really Glenn. I'm I'm part of God in my heart. That's the truth. Mm-hmm. The truth is the cause. So the truth for everyone is they are free, they are happy, and they are, and they and they should have dignity. So we so they have to reframe the reality. You know, they have to get off the newspapers, the media, the social media, uh, the television. Keep away from that because they're just manipulative medias. I call the television the, the, the one-eyed devil, you know. I mean, it's trying to influence you constantly, you know. Take a walk in the woods. Do prayer. Light a candle. Read the Bible. You know, go into solitude. You know, appreciate nature. You've got choices. But your, 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 your hands are chained by the devil in fear. Mm-hmm. And, and only through recognizing that can you get out, you know, like I keep saying, you cannot get out of a trap if you don't know you're in one. So I advocate strong, Gary, people take inventory. Hey, is this person hurting me or loving me? Do Mm -hmm. I have freedom to go here? Why am I doing this? Why? And you'll find out that you're somebody else's puppet, a corrupt Mm -hmm. system. So you have to cut the ties and say no more. I'm saying no to you, mister. I'm a free being. I'm going my way. You can't manipulate me no more. I have had mm-hmm. enough of this. Free. So that's part of the tested movement is to give people back not only dignity, but strength of character. Christ didn't want weak people walking around. He wanted strong warriors to take care of business. You know, and that's what we need to do. And it can be through love. It can be through preaching. It can be reading. It can be through visiting the hospital. But you've got to be motivated to do something to, that synchronizes with God's love. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Brother Glenn, any final words for the listeners? 
Yes, my final words would, would be, first of all, whoever's out there, thank you and God bless you for listening to this. I'm going to say this, please love yourself. And I, I'm, it's not narcissistic. Love who you are. Every one of you finds your freedom, your happiness, and dignity. And ground yourself in God. Don't be afraid to say no to a corrupt system. And once you find that godliness, share it. Share it to your neighbor. Take time out and get up in the morning and, and praise the heavens for a cup of coffee, a beautiful tree, and a bird. You have life. Just think, if you didn't have life, what would you have? Nothing. And it's not guaranteed. So live every day like it's your last day. Give, love yourself. Give a, 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 as much love as you can to others. And constantly stay in deep communion with Jesus because that's where the answers are. Not in the human mind. Go inward. Ask the question on your heart and you'll find the answers. All right. <clears throat> Brother Glenn, thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to come on Challenges of Faith radio program to tell us about your new movie, Test It the Movie, and all that you're doing. And again, I extend an invitation for you to return anytime as God so leads. Thank you so much, Gary. God bless you and keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. And I'd also like to acknowledge Christy Snyder for bringing us together for such a time as now. Listeners, thank you for stopping by and tuning in to hear our beloved brother of the household of faith, Glenn M. Ratcliffe, the executive producer of the Tested Movie, as he shared what's on his heart and mind and the mission that God has laid on him from a global perspective so that individuals can be uplifted and free from all those bondages, whether they're self-bondages or bondages that the devil or demonic powers lay out, and the ones that the individuals, the two-leg enemies, may be doing as well. Thank you for tuning in this evening. I'm Gary McCants.